Hey everyone, this is Brother Fernando Garay. I'm over here in San Diego, California. It is good to be here preaching the Word of God and releasing a word about the anointing. Before I release the word, I just want to remind you, if you have never uh, subscribed to this community, hit the subscribe button below. The boom, hit the subscribe button and like it. Give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody else if this is a blessing to you. I want to talk today about the anointing, the anointing that comes from God. And it is God that wants to anoint his people for a purpose. And I'm going to uh, talk about Psalm 89. And remember the anointing or to anoint this when you, you anoint someone with oil and you uh, rub it on their head or, or sometimes they anointed furniture, etc. And God wants to release anointings upon your life so you can have the victory that belongs to you. But it comes through the anointed the anointing. And remember that the anointing comes through the anointed one. Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is the anointed one. And in Psalm 89, uh, God is talking to David. God is talking to David in a vision in Psalm 89, verses 19 through 22. And, and in verse 20, he says, with my holy oil, I have anointed him. And where it says David, where it says right there in the word of God, when, and with my holy oil, I have anointed David. I believe God wants to anoint you with the same holy oil because he knows that you are consecrated he knows that you are set apart he knows that you love him and God wants to bless you with a special anointing I believe that with all my heart that you are a chosen generation you are a holy individual called by God for such a time as this and so God in verse 21 also says my arm shall strengthen him in other words the devil will not be outsmart you he cannot be smarter than you. Why? Because the arm, the arm of God will strengthen you. You have to receive this word deep in your spirit. Let it just marinate, marinate <laughs> deep in your spirit. Let it grow deep in your spirit. There's an anointing that comes from God. There's an anointing that is available to you when? Now. Not 10 years from now. Not 20 years from now. God wants to anoint you now. I believe we are in a Kairos time and a specific time of God. I believe this is a special moment of uh, for the body of Christ all over the world. There's an anointing being released. I believe God is setting his people on fire. I believe there's a special uh, prophetic word coming out of his prophets. I believe that there's pastors that are being set on fire because there's an anointing being released by a supernatural God to a supernatural people. Watch this. And in Acts 13, verse 22, I looked at that verse and it says, I have found David, a man after my own heart. The, he's the only one in the Bible that gets called to be the only one that gets called to be the one that's a man after my own heart. Now, if you if you break out, Dave, if you break it down, David's life. If you know how he was, you know, he was known as a liar. He was known as an adulterer. He had, you know, Uriah killed to marry his wife. And, and he betrayed his nation. He made very mistakes. He just, he just many times was a mess. But yet God calls him a man after my own heart. And, you, and that's why we, we don't even, we shouldn't even judge ourselves. You see, because it is, God knows the heart. God knows your heart. And God knows you make mistakes, but he knows your heart. And just like he's calling David a man after my own heart, I believe there's a special place in your heart that belongs to Jesus, that cannot be touched by any, any temptation, by any wickedness, that it belongs to Jesus. And God is speaking to that part of your heart. And, and, and thereby we could hear the word of God saying, my son with whom I am well pleased. And I, I want to talk about the anointing that, that brought David from, from being a pastor, an unknown pastor, right? An unknown pastor. Nobody knew who David was to be the king, the king. And in Isaiah 10, 27, I want to read you the scripture. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing oil. So this is what's called a yoke destroying anointing that's isaiah 10 27 a yoke destroying anointing and when the prophet samuel anointed david in first samuel 16 he came and anointed david and david was just a little pastor a little unknown pastor on a helping on the side somewhere helping his father's sheep here comes the prophet with a word from god he anoints david and david then faces goliath in first samuel 17 kills the giant kills the, the kill those that were were mocking the church kill kill the giant who was saying your god is a fallacy and david took his head off 
picked his head up with, with, and, and by his head and picked him up by his hair and brought it to the king. And that's what you will do to your spiritual enemies that the devil will try to come against you and discourage you and, and just bring all types of traps against you. The enemy may bring people to talk fallacies about you, but there's an anointing upon your life. There's an anointing that comes from God upon your life that you will be able to shake it off and it will be the anointing will be on your head and, and it'll be like Isaiah 10, 27. It'll be all over your neck and, and the anointing will destroy the yoke of the enemy. I, I know that God wants to anoint his people and I know that there's an available, a fresh anointing available for you right now. I want to read one more scripture in Acts 10, 38. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. And so Jesus was anointed by God the Father with the Holy Spirit and with power. And that's the anointing you're going to get. You might you might have an anointing now, but I believe, you know, I don't know about you, but there's more. I want more. I'm not satisfied because ooh, our God has plenty more in store for his people. Our God has plenty more in store and, and he's continuously increasing us and blessing us in the anointing and He and in, in everything we set out to do. And God says he anointed Anointed, the Bible says in 1038 of Acts, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with fire and power. And he went about doing good. And that's what it's all about. We go about doing good. We go to the nations of the world and we do good. We go to, to uh, all throughout the United States and we do good. We go to our local community and we do good. You know, I was talking to a young man yesterday and we was we were dialoguing and he was he's unsaved and and I started talking about Jesus, you know, and and I started talking about the good and the bad. And and I started telling him stories about, you know, the good and the bad and and Jesus is good and the devil is bad. The devil wants to, you know, mess people's lives up and etc. And and but I said to him, "You know what? The good always wins." And he looked, he was touched by the anointing at that moment when I just said that the good always wins. And you know why I said that? Because ever since I've been a little boy, I used to watch the, the, the cartoons where the bad guys uh, were, were looking like they were going to win. But at the end, the good guys won. And movies, uh, etc. the good guys always won at the end. And so I have a deep in my spirit that God is good. The devil stinks. And God, which is good, will always win. And God has a people that will always win. And you are raised up by God to win in your situation. Because once God wants to give you an anointing, all you have to do is right there, just raise your hands to God like a child, childlike faith, or put your hands out, whatever is more convenient for you, whatever makes you feel more comfortable. But nevertheless, there is a pose of humility in front of God because God is going to release an anointing upon you. And you know, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to share this on our live stream last Friday but the signal kept getting cut off and but now I have an opportunity to, to release this word and this anointing upon you just in, I'm, I'm in agreement with the Holy Ghost that God is a supernatural God he's omnipotent he's omnipresent in other words he's here and he's there too and I pray right now that you just receive an anointing father I pray for those that are listening to your word and that by faith oh God Jesus came to destroy the works of the enemy and by faith I pray that your people People will get touched right now, God, that they will get touched with a new anointing, that the anointing will just saturate their mind, give them shalom, peace from God, that the anointing will be all over their body, that the anointing will be healing, healing parts of their bodies that need healing because God, Jesus came to give us life, life more abundantly, and by his stripes we are healed. So, Father, I just pray a release of the anointing upon your people that they might say, look what the Lord has done. It is marvelous in our eyes. Praise God. And that was the word I wanted to release to you. Because there's an anointing available. An anointing available to you today. Not later on in the future. Not, not 10 years from now. No. God, God wants you to receive what God has for you today. Why? Because there's plenty in God's river. There's plenty in God's presence. And so just receive the anointing by faith. Walk in the anointing and rejoice in what the Lord has done. God bless you. And remember, if this has been a blessing to you, share with somebody else. Give it a thumbs up. Like it. Subscribe. Come on. Let's bombard the heavenlies with the joy of the Lord as the anointing goes forth. God bless you.